Hello. In this presentation, we will put together a custom income statement within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been following along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If you have the backup file, you can restore that at File and Backup as seen in a prior presentation. If not, that is okay. We will be taking a look at a custom income statement, how to customize an income statement. We currently have the open windows list open. In order to open the open windows list, go to the view tab up top and open windows list. We currently have the home tab open in the open windows of the home page. And that's going to be at company and home page. We're going to create a custom income statement and you may be asking, what is an income statement with regard to QuickBooks? There is no such thing. And and you may not be asking that. You probably know that the income statement is the profit and loss statement. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a profit and loss statement and then we'll customize it. And one of those customizations will be changing the title from a profit and loss to an income statement to make those happy that may be asking for an income statement and rather see the term income statement in the title. So what we will do is we'll go to the profit and loss. We're going to scroll down to uh, company and financial and we're going to go to the profit and loss statement here a report. Once we have the profit and loss open, what we're going to do is make some changes to it. So we're going to go to the customize report up top and we'll change the date here and it's going to be 0101212. 12 31 21 so that's january 1st 2021 to december 31st 2021 now the only thing we're really going to change here uh, there will be a couple changes we're going to go to the header and footer tab and we want to change this profit and loss we would like to call it an income statement and that's going to be a typical change this might be something that you might want to memorize uh have a memorized report for because there could be some individuals who will just prefer that uh, name and it de depends who you're getting a question from. If you get a creditor, if you get an outside CPA firm, um, they may be more accustomed to using the term income statement and they probably know the idea of a, of a profit and loss and have are aware of QuickBooks and the naming of it. But just to make things as easy as possible, to make things as smooth as possible, it may uh, be good just to call this an income statement and change the name right there income statement and that will make things easier for people and then we're going to say date prepared I'm going to remove that that's going to be re re removing these items the date prepared the time prepared and the report basis we may want to get in the practice of putting that footer um, whatever the footer we want whether it be a name or, or whatever we want in the footer uh, to customize the report and then we're going to keep the fonts as is. So we'll keep that as is. And then let's see what we have here. We have uh, the name and then the term income statement for those that would uh, like to see that. One other item we're going to go back and set up is we're going to remove the cents here. So we'll remove the pennies from our report by going to customize, customize report. And we will go to fonts and numbers and just remove the sense here. So this will be our customized income statement. The other, everything else we're going to uh, leave the same. We may want to memorize this report by going to memorize and save in a certain group. We made a group last time called uh, my reports. So we'll put it into our custom grouping and save that. By doing that, then uh, we'll have the name change saved and we can just pull this report up from the custom grouping and not have to make the adjustments for the sense and the name and uh, the uh, removing these items on the side. I'm going to go ahead and print this report now. So we're going to print this report out or we sh I should say that we are going to export it to Excel. We're going to export this report to Excel. We're going to export some reports also in some future presentation. This is the first one we're going to put in this particular Excel sheet. So we're going to make a new Excel sheet. We're going to export this to a new tab within uh, the Excel sheet that we make. So we're going to make a new worksheet 
click in the Excel and new worksheet and then we're gonna put it into a new workbook so I just need to say we just need to go export and it should open up Excel it should create a new tab it should export this data to that new tab here it is here's our information a couple things we typically need to change and that's where I like to change at least we're gonna go up to the view tab up top we're gonna change that from the windows to the split we're gonna unsplit the screens in other words because it it always splits whenever we do this and I don't want to split so we're gonna unsplit it and then we're gonna go down here from the normal view to the page layout view with this little icon just to check that the title is there with the income statement that's what we changed the major change we had looks like it fits on one page It's very nice looks good so we're gonna go back to the normal view over here and then we're gonna change the tab name I'm just gonna call it income statements something like that and that will be that first time saving it so we want to make sure we put it in the location where we know where it, it, it is at so we'll go to file and we'll go to save as we'll go to browse and then we'll check out what we got here I'm gonna put it on the desktop I'm gonna scroll down to where I want to put it in uh, get great guitars gonna make a new section so I'm gonna right click and make a new folder to put this in and I'm gonna call it section 3 and we'll double click on that and then I'll call it section 3 reports and that's where we'll put it and I'll say save there yes that okay and that's where we will have our income statement we'll save some new statements to this same document on some new tabs in a later presentation or possibly a few later presentations and it will be great that's going to be it for the income statement